I'm going to spend the next 24 hours in the middle of nowhere with no food or water. Yes, I have no survival skills, but I did stay in a Motel 8. Those birds are barn swallows. They build their nests out of mud. My main concern though is going to be proteins. I'm really going to have to crank those up. Did you know that you can survive three days without water, three weeks without food, but only three minutes without oxygen? So I'm going to call this guy George. George didn't quite meet the minimum of the 15 inches necessary, so George's got to go. Bye, George. Always check your fire hood for snakes, and definitely make sure you're jacking around with the camera while you do. This root wad will make perfect tender for a fire at camp. Yo, I was just chilling, and then out of nowhere, this damn bee came up, all up in my face, just trying to pollinate me. Couldn't get him off me. It's like, boundaries. You know, you'd think with all the years of fishing that I've done that I know how to work a drag. But I just wasn't having it today. I don't even know what this is, but... With the size of it and things the way they were going, it'll work, but I'll eat it. But you know, there's that old saying, if it smells bad, don't eat it, you should trust it. And here's some more that I caught there. We'll go ahead and put these on the fire too. So this just isn't any water bottle. This water bottle right here is actually a water filtration device. And this is how it's actually able to drink right out of the river. So camp definitely took a hot minute to find. So this was probably my eighth spot. But I needed somewhere that was gonna be flat, had some really good strong trees, and had a good egress in and out of the river. But what I did find is evidence that other people used this spot. I bet Native Americans cooked fires there too. So after rebuilding this fire ring, it's time to get a fire going because I have fish to eat. Man, I'm really glad I picked up all that firewood. I had so much firewood that I'm pretty sure there was gonna be some left over for the person behind me. But it was a good thing I got this fire going because I really exerted my alpha maleness here. Now, it was time to clean some fish, so I went ahead and I got some soap, and since I was right there next to the river, I just went ahead and washed them down. It was really easy. So since I couldn't find a flat rock to set over these coals, I had to make a greenwood grill. So what that is, is those are green branches that are fresh where the leaves have been shaved off. You can just kind of crisscross them atop each other, and then you can just set the fish on there or whatever it is you want to cook, and you don't have to worry about it falling in the air. Remember when I told you the not to eat stuff that smells gross? Well, that's why. Yeah, it was nasty. Yeah. Definitely nasty. Um, the bluegill, though, they were pretty good. You know, the, the three bites I had, they were good. I enjoyed them. so cold. Um, I haven't really slept all night. I'm super tired. I had to come start the fire back up though. I, actually there was something behind my hammock, but whatever it was, I scared it and it jumped into the river. Um, so I went ahead and came down here to get the fire going. The wood down here is just so dry, so rotted that the fires just don't burn long. Well after last night, these just really aren't all that wearable anymore. Well, 24 hours survive. I do think 72 would really put me to the test. Thanks for watching. What do you guys think I should bring with me next time?